Okay, hi everyone. So um, I'm making these videos and um, they might just be based on history. I'm not sure just yet. Just because a few of my students from school have said they're really enjoying the topic. But also I've had students that are outside from school who've messaged me saying they're not really getting any work on history. Um, have you got any information? So you can use this as well. If you are a student from my school, and I give you a task to do on this video, post it on Class Dojo. You know how to do it. If I've given this to you and you're from outside of school, you post it to me through um, email. So depends what which student you are. Okay. So let me dismiss this. Right. So we're going to look at Lady Fu Hao, and she's from the time period of the Shang Dynasty. You know me, I will say some words wrong, so I do apologise, okay? We're going to look at her because she's a very inspirational woman, okay? From that time period and even to look at now. So, who was she? Okay, she was one of the many wives of King Wu Ding. And he was a king in ancient China who reigned over the, um, the dynasty for 3,000 years. Okay, she had many roles, including being a general and a high priestess, as well as controlling her own land. So she had, she wasn't just a general, she had many roles. She is known as the first military leader in history, not just from this time period, but history in general. When we look at the past, she was the first military female leader in history. And just to add on to it, just in case, um, if you do hear about Mu Xin instead of Lady Fu Hao, it's the same person. She was just referred to Mu Xin as well. I don't know why. If you know why, let me know. Do some research. I'd love to know why she was referred to two different names. Okay, next slide. Why was she so important? Okay, she was a powerful woman not just during her life, but also after she died in 1250 BC. Her tomb, when it was found by archaeologists in 1976, was the only royal tomb from the dynasty that was undamaged. So it was the only tomb that was undamaged and still had precious things in the tomb which meant that historians could learn a lot from it so the only way we knew more about that time period was because of her tomb and what they found in there and what they found around it so if it wasn't for that that's why she's so important now because it was her tomb that has given us so much information about that time period so what do we know about her tomb that like, this is the interesting bit I just, I'm just going to put it all up because, actually, no, I'm not. Her coffin was placed within a wooden chamber, okay? They believe that something was built over the tomb to allow people to hold um, ceremonies. Now, we do this, and we believe, we believe that they might have held ceremonies to remember her. We hold little ceremonies or little ways to remember people. So, for example, we hold a minute silence, or we might have a special day dedicated to someone or something from history. We think that, that whatever was built over this tomb was to hold ceremonies for her, but we're not sure. In the tomb, which is very interesting, they found remains of six dogs and 16 humans. And I'll talk about that in a second. They found over 750 jade objects. Now, if you don't know what jade is, have a look. It's very important. Research it. You're going to need it if you, got, if you do the tasks later on. They also found over 550 bone objects so not her bones but other objects that were made out of bone from that time period and those included hair pins and arrowheads so her pins that she put in her hair they were made out of bone and they found 7,000 cowrie shells 
okay so that was the currency they used so we used pound we use pounds and pennies they used cowrie shells okay and that's what they found so that's how we know what kind of money they used because the archaeologists found these objects and items and now we know that oh at that time period this is what their objects were made out of this is what their current currency is that's why her tomb is so important okay going back to this interesting fact so i had to dig a little deeper here and try and understand why 16 other humans were in her tomb buried the reason is because because of the culture now in those times if someone important died who had servants apparently they would have to give up their life as well for their master and apparently it's culture the reason why is because afterlife is so they can continue in the afterlife i think they can continue to to serve that master that's just one story one version of why there's 16 humans in there i'm not sure if that's 100 percent true but that's what i've read and researched um you guys feel free to research too and tell me if that's the same reason but i thought that was interesting 16 humans i thought why and apparently it's they have to give up their life uh, because they were servants and you have to do that if your master dies oh anyway so what did she achieve again i don't know if i mentioned this before but she led an army of one thousand uh, sorry thirteen thousand soldiers that to me is impressive some of you might think oh that's not a lot it is a lot because imagine so i have to look while well, lead 30 students and that is tough okay she led thirteen thousand soldiers who are probably mainly men okay and they had to listen to her that's a, you know that's such a inspirational thing for a woman to do at that time because it was very unusual for women to be in that sort of role okay again so while she was that um leader she was successful in her campaigns she conquered a lot of land a lot of territory okay and because she conquered a lot of this land and territory they awarded it to her they said look you've got you've you know won this land for us you can have some of it it's all yours because she was such a great leader she was also a politician at the time so they did listen to her and her viewpoints so she was a politician at the time and she was also seen as a spiritual leader who would give you spiritual guidance now these three roles a military leader a politician and a spiritual leader for a woman to do these three role, roles were very unusual for that time okay you know when you look at the past especially this far um back women were not seen as capable okay i've got my little bunny fingers were not capable to do these roles but she did them she was a spiritual leader a politician and a general uh, uh, a military leader so she was she was very inspirational then and she's inspirational now because if you look at it imagine doing those three roles now that's a lot of work so that's a little bit about her i'm going to give you four questions i think it's four i'm not sure just four questions pause it write the answer down if you need to re rewind feel free i should have said to make notes as we were going through the video but pause it um, write your answer down, rewind it, and see if you got the answer right. So the first question is, who was her husband? Okay, pause it. Okay, so the answer would be King Wu Ding. If you wanted to research about him, you can. Why was her tomb special? Again, pause it, rewind, and find out more info if you want to. okay the reason why her tomb was so special was because it allowed historians to find more information about that time period it also had cool things precious things in there such as the um bone objects the jade objects and things like that number three why was she ahead of her time again pause write it down
okay she was ahead of her time because it was unusual for women to play those roles at that time if you want if you've gone into detail of what her roles were so for example she was a politician that's great and then the last one what were cowrie shells write it down so cowrie shells were the currency that they used it was the money that they used okay now if that if you want to have a go at the tasks you are more than welcome to as i mentioned before if you are a student from my school and you want to send it to me you can you can send it to me on class dojo if you are a student outside of school then you either send it to your parents to send to me or send it to my email address okay first task write a fact file or a biography it could be about king Wu ding it could be about this lady it's up to you there is so much information on this lady i've only given you a brief amount so go into google if you've got books on it great if you know someone who knows about this time period perfect there's so much on her that you can find out and i'm sure there's uh, more interesting information you can find as well so you could write a fact or a biography put some pictures on maybe create a timeline totally up to you you could create an acrostic poem you could use her name you could use inspirational and base it on that it's totally up to you and art now some of the things that they found in there was inscriptions on shells and bones so the writing was done on shells and bones you could have a go at um, drawing some of those you could have a got drawing um lady fuhao or drawing some of the kings from that time it is totally up to you okay so those are just some of the tasks i hope you enjoyed it if you liked this uh or you want to look at any other uh, period of time i'm going to put some videos up so you can have a look at those i might say they're for year one or they're for year four but they're perfect for you to still watch if you don't know about i don't know the titanic watch it you'll learn something new okay i will speak to you later i hope you enjoyed it um this is mainly for the students who wanted to know more it is not compulsory especially for my year six students at school it is not compulsory to watch or to do okay i'll speak to you later have a lovely week and i hope to hear from you soon bye guys